Hey everyone, Scott from Photocrati here. Today I want to show you a, a quick tip on the Next Gen Gallery uh, sidebar widgets. So, not everyone utilizes a sidebar widget, but I want to walk you through what each one does because you might find that it comes in handy. Um, we recently uh, noticed that a, a Photocrati converted site um, started using the Next Gen Gallery plugin uh, to showcase featured photographer work um, in the sidebar. So, um, it can be used for so many different ways. It doesn't have to be for all of your photos. So I'm going to walk you through uh, what you can do with them. So as you can see here, this is a regular Photocrati blog. Um, the base default theme, uh, base uh, preset with some galleries here. But I want to show you where, what we can do and put some next-gen gallery widgets in here. So uh, the first thing you got to do is go to your back end and pick the, uh, go to Appearance and Widgets. And you're going to notice that there's three widgets available. Next Gen Gallery Media RSS, Next Gen Gallery Slideshow, and Next Gen Gallery Widget. First one I'm going to show you is Next Gen Widget. So we're going to drag that here to your sidebar. And you see you've got a title option. So we can say uh, Featured Work. And you've got an option for Original Images or Thumbnails. I'm going to do Thumbnails and choose Six. And then you can pick if you want it to be random or the most recent. So if you're doing some, some sort of featured and you've got a gallery specific to featured work, pick random. Why not? And then you've got a width and height of the thumbnails. So this, these, the thumbnails of this widget can be different than the thumbnails that you have to pick for, um, for the galleries that you use in Next Gen Gallery. So this, I'm going to actually put this as 50 by 50. Make them square. And then I'm going to pick all galleries. But you have an option, so you can say, only do the ones that are listed below here, or, um, or, or only the ones that are not listed below. Okay. So how do you know what to list there and what not to list there? Okay. So if you go to Manage Galleries, you got um, I only have one gallery in this demo, and the ID number is one. So what I would do is I would put one if I don't or do want this listed. If I don't care and just want everything listed, you just pick all galleries. But I'm going to say, because this is supposed to be featured work, I'm going to say only which are listed. And then I'm going to hit save. And now if I go back to the blog and I refresh, I'm going to have a gallery uh, with uh, six images at 50 by 50. And then that's it. So let's say I want to make these a little bigger. So let's actually say, let's go 70 by 70. And I'll show you that um, with a little change of setting, I can make them bigger. And let's go to 100 by 100. Refresh. And now they're 100 by 100. And now I have six um, 100 by 100 thumbnails square. And I can always change it. And now what's cool is I can click on it and it'll still open your uh, effect that you picked in uh, for Next Gen Gallery for your thumbnails. And you can see it only lets you look at these six that you featured in the widget. So that's pretty neat. Now I'm going to walk you through another, uh, another widget. Let's delete this one. And the next one I want to walk you through is the slideshow. So your slideshow, you can also, let's say we're doing featured work again. And you can, again, here you can, you can select a specific gallery. So you can't pick numbers but you can select one specific or you can select all images. So we're going to select the one specific. And I'm going to make the slideshow 250 by 250. Save that. And now if we refresh, this is going to switch from the thumbnails to a slideshow. Okay, now the slideshow is, uh, you know, it's going to rotate, but you can't click on anything. You know, all that's going to do is just change the photo. So um, that might be useful for you, it might not. Uh, you know, if you want people to be able to click on it and make it bigger, it might be worth picking the widget with one photo and let it, every time the page refreshes or, or they go to a different page where there's a sidebar, they see a different photo. So that might be worth it. And I'll show you what I mean by that um, afterwards. Actually, you know what, I'll do that right now. So let's um, duplicate this. So I'm going to say again, featured work one original image. Now this is probably going to be too big. 
but you'll see what I mean. Refresh again, just to make sure. Actually, that worked very well. So we're using the original image, and the original image at 250 by 250 max dimensions, and it shows up with the photo. Now here's the cool part. You see the switching, but this is static. But now if I refresh the page, the bottom image is going to switch. This will still be a slideshow. This is going to be a new featured work that I can click on and it enlarges. So this might be a good option as well. The last thing I want to show you is the Media RSS widget. So what this does is it allows you to um, share a RSS feed that you have already that um, you can enable in the back end, and I'll show you that as well, um, and how to find it. But you can share this with your readers. And what that gives you the ability to do is let them, uh, your readers, subscribe to an RSS feed uh, in if they utilize our, an RSS feed reader, like Google Reader. Um, so uh, the RSS feed, if you want to enable it in your back end, if you go to your option settings, so um, next, uh, the go to gallery and then options. You'll see a, uh, RSS feed will be added to your blog header. So if you enable this, and then um, you look at the source code of your uh, of your site with Next Gen Gallery on it, you will actually see a feed that is your RSS feed uh, specific to your Next Gen Gallery photos. Now I want to show you what you can do to share this with your readers. So if you go to your widget section again, you have the Next Gen Media RSS. You're going to drag that to your sidebar. And you can customize this if you want, but for the demo purposes, I'm just going to hit save so you can see what it does. And by default, it just adds this widget. From here, you can take your uh, RSS feed of your next gen gallery and do anything that you could that you would do with an, a normal RSS feed of your blog articles. So really the possibilities are endless. It's all up to you what you do from there. Thanks for watching.